uh, from, I believe uh, it's India. Now, you know, it's very similar to a lot of the stabilizers already or steady cams out there, uh, but it has a few little things that just, I, I think, actually make it usable and just make it a really good deal uh, when you consider uh, the price that it sells at. Now, the first and most important thing is that it produces smooth shots. Uh, that is, of course, if you know how to use a, a steady cam or a handheld stabilizer. Uh, I think it's a skill that I always encourage everybody to learn, even if you have a gimbal at home, because gimbals, as good as they are, you know, uh, especially if you've used one, that they always will, you know, the time will come when they're gonna break down on you, or the battery will, will die, or something like that. Whereas a simple, old-fashioned Steadicam or, or stabilizer always works, if you know how to use it. Uh, and this one works great. So here's a few shots that I got. Uh, just basically walking around, uh, I see some beautiful aqueducts, we're just outside of Rome here. Um, and anyways, uh, you know, as you can see in the shots, the, the Steadicam works. Now, one of the things that I really like about the Steadicam is its size. Uh, that is to say that when you compact it uh, and you kind of, you know, put it in its smallest form, it's just small enough to fit in a carry-on luggage, uh, which means that you can take it with you when you're traveling. And for me, that's very important because for the last uh, almost a year, I've been pretty much uh, living out of a suitcase. I've been traveling a lot and it's something that I can take with me. But at the same time, the Steadicam is not so small that it cannot take, you know, the weight of a bigger camera. So, I mean, you, I, I've flown on this Steadicam something as small as a, like a Sony A6300. Uh, but also, like I said, when you extend it, uh, make it longer, put an extra weight on it, uh, then you can fly something as big even as a Red Epic. Uh, it's also a, a really good weight, uh, meaning it's not too light, uh, you know, but it is not too heavy either. But what I mean that is, you know, by when I say that it's not too light is that when you have a steady cam that is too too light, basically it's, it doesn't have enough of its own weight when you're carrying it, then any little thing like even a bit of wind is going to throw it off balance, or it's going to basically just move it to left or right, things like that. Whereas a steady cam that has a little bit more weight to it has basically more inertia, more, more mass behind it, uh, and so that results usually in smoother shots. Another nice thing about it is that it's very easy to balance. Uh, it has you know, these fine adjustment knobs uh, that you can use to kind of really kind of tweak and get the perfect kind of setting for it. And now if you guys want to learn how to balance any kind of a Steadicam or handheld stabilizer type of uh, you know, device, uh, then I have a video that I did a long time ago where I basically explain how to do that. Uh, so I'm going to provide a link for that in the description of this video. And one of the things you probably notice about the Steadicam is that uh, it's very similar to the design and the way that, that uh, the Glidecam looks. You know, Glidecam is like uh, one of the more popular, I would say, brands out there when it comes to handheld st stabilizers, and and it's, you know for a good reason. They did, they've done some some really great products. Uh, now, of course, this one is a lot cheaper, but they've kind of I would say taken some of the better features of the Glidecam and plus we sort of built on top of it. Uh, what I mean by that is that one thing that I personally hated about the, the Glidecam. Uh, is that you, you have to pretty much, you have to buy your own base plate, like in kind of like a quick, quick way of attaching and removing the camera on the top. Because you do not want to take off the whole cheese plate and attach the camera that way. Uh, whereas with, uh, with this Steadicam, it actually comes already with the base plate included, which is really nice. Um, so, you know, and also if you wanted to, you could get more, more of those base plates for, from that company, they're really affordable, and then you can easily swap your camera between the tripod, you know, uh, Steadicam, maybe some, some other device that you have. Um, and that makes it very easy. Now, if you want, you can actually loosen these four kind of aluminum, sort of silver looking screws, and then you can remove the cheese plate and you can still obviously adjust the position of the base plate. Uh, but I think having that base plate in there is a, is a lifesaver when you really want to, you know, be able to move quickly, especially if you're doing sort of like, let's say, documentary or, or live event kind of work where sometimes you might be on a tripod and then you have to quickly put your camera back on a, let's say, on a stabilizer uh, and fly with it. So, you know, you sort of balanced it already then it's very easy you put it on that on that removable base plate and that's it now the steadicam comes with all the tools some of the extra screws and everything that you need and it uh, comes in a nicely sort of padded protected case so that's a, that's a really nice addition again considering the the, the price that it retails at um, now there is actually an uh, extra things that you can buy for it like the vest and the articulated arm, which might come in handy if you're basically trying to fly a, a bigger, heavier camera, which, like I said, this Steadicam can take. You can even fly like a, you know, full, fully rigged out, let's say, a Red Epic with like cinema lenses on it. Now, you know, with a camera of that size and lenses of that size, you'll usually end up probably even adding uh, like a wireless follow focus system, things like that, maybe even a wireless video system. And then if the whole rig can become so heavy that it might not be realistic for you to carry or basically fly, you know, and hold it all in your hand for long periods of time. So that's when a vest and an articulated arm are really helpful. 
Uh, so I'm going to do a separate video about that. You guys can check it out. Uh, again, the link for that is in the description of this video. And you can buy both the Steadicam and the uh, Articular Arm with the vest uh, together as a package, or you can buy them separately. Uh, anyways, thank you guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, remember, uh, go to TomAntosFilms.com for all the details about this uh, product, as well as any other product reviews that I've done, plus a whole ton of filmmaking tutorials, tips and tricks, and free downloads. Uh, and uh, if you want a specific links, again, everything's in the description of this video.